orangutan story. Can fire and ice be together? No, right? Well, that's not the case with animals, thankfully. Did you know that incidents of interspecies friendships between animals are not so rare? Cheetahs in the zoo get emotional support from dogs to help with their anxiety. We often underestimate just how intelligent animals are. Today, we have a story that is pretty heartwarming and adorable. Make sure to stick around till the end of the video as we have a surprising fact in store for you. Orangutans are social animals, much like humans, and develop strong emotional bonds with each other. And this was true for the small orangutan family at Pyridicea Zoo in Belgium, who had been transferred from the Heidelberg Zoo in Germany in 2017. The family of orangutans consisted of the big 24-year-old male Ujian, the 15-year-old female Sari, and her 4-year-old son Birani. Orangutans are extremely intelligent, and zoos have to spend a lot of effort in keeping these great apes from getting bored. Just like us humans, these orangutans were very amused by the attention the zoo visitors would give them. They would come up to the glass and try to play with the visitors, waving their arms, making different expressions at them, and even more. It is safe to say that the visitors were a big part of the orangutan's daily routine, and the orangutans loved it. But then COVID-19 struck, and the best part of the orangutan's day? The constant flow of human visitors abruptly ended. This had far more severe consequences on the orangutans. They refused to eat, play, or engage in other invigorating experience. They even refused to step out of their caves. Orangutans are an endangered species, and the zookeepers had to think of a solution to the orangutans' loneliness quickly, or they could risk the well-being of the apes. The zookeepers tried adding interesting activities, but it seemed like nothing would work. The orangutans weren't in the company they enjoyed the most, plain and simple. That's when the zoo management came up with a brilliant idea. Right next to the orangutan's enclosure was the Asian River Otter Enclosure. Otters are also extremely social and are capable of forming emotional bonds with others. A river was ordered to be built from the otter enclosure into the orangutan enclosure. As soon as it was completed and ready, the otters took a swim downstream to discover where the new river led to. The zookeepers and management were all very anxious as they weren't sure to how each species would react. There was a chance that this endeavor could end badly. But to everyone's relief, when the otters climbed out of the river in the ape's enclosure, little Barani, who was the most curious of them, came up to one of the otters. The keepers reported that Barani looked to be very troubled by the otters' numbers and was apprehensive. But he stretched his arms out and they began to sniff each other. After getting to know each other for a few minutes, they began to realize that they were both harmless and started to play together. Seeing their young son playing with a strange animal, Ujian and Sari rushed out to investigate. But instead of showing apprehension or hostility, they reacted much like Barani. After five minutes, we're playing with the otters themselves. As the two species got to know each other better, the otters were seen jumping up and down the apes' backs. The change in the orangutan's family's mood was immediate. This new friendship had certainly saved the orangutans. The otters really enjoy getting out of the water on the orangutan island to go and play with their big furry friends, said a spokesman from Pyridiza Zoo. It is truly incredible how these two species with completely different instincts and interests were able to come together as friends. Love really does bridge all the gaps. From the moment the otters arrived in the ape's enclosure, they spent almost all their time together, usually playing hide and seek or catch. A zookeeper said that the otters loved hiding under the tree trunks waiting to be found by Barani. The older otters preferred to hang around Ujian and Sari. The apes carefully pick them up and pet them and allow them to run on their backs. A bulletin board has been set up at the zoo's entrance so the zoo photographers, who can barely keep up with the otters' antics, can pin their pictures. One of these pictures show Ujian surrounded by otters who seem to be listening intently to his wise words. Sari feeding her friends by hand and Barani running after one of the otters. This incident all goes to show how much alike orangutans and humans are. These great apes need to be intellectually challenged and stimulated to be able to live healthy lives. Bonus fact, 
Great, you stuck around to the end and now it's time for a surprising fact as we promised. Did you know that orangutans have an arm span of around 2.2 meters, over 7 feet, from fingertip to fingertip? Considering their standing height at around 1.5 meters, this is an impressive reach. Their arms are so long, in fact, they're one and a half times longer than their legs and stretch to their ankles even when standing. What are your thoughts on unusual animal friendships? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and please like, share, and subscribe for more interesting videos like this. Ciao!